Alrighty, we are back for round one on draw against Bad Beat Brat. Pretty good keeper here. Hopefully we can get some more land, but definitely like having one of the probably the best to drop in my deck alongside another very good to drop. Either construct, alright. Kinda like that. If it gives me more chance to draw land. Let's see what the one did. They put a card on top and we will put a card on on top too. <coughs> I'm actually gonna lead with Crane so I have a blocker for the Construct because if I play Swooper I take 2 next turn and potentially 2 afterwards probably not 2 afterwards but oh, that's cool we got a Peafowl and there, w there was a lot of spell on the top even though they were good uh, I, I kinda wanna draw land right here I feel like I will be able to get my... it's not like other as a creature where you wanna attack as soon as possible I feel like I will you know, get my um, my 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 artifact at some point. So I think I'd rather just um, play a blocker and take less less damage. Um, I think we just drop the bug and pass the turn here. I feel like I have a great late game. It's pretty likely that Melvin has a reinvolt for the bug. Like Chandra's Revolution. I don't really want to take trade two for one if they do. You can attack, but I've seen myself playing a little bit too aggressively recently, and I think well now it's different, but I think <coughs> sometimes it's right just not to do not to play too aggressively. I'm gonna touch while they are tapped out and gain 5 life and be happy. And now if they have a reinvolt, well, I still get my bug back, so it's fine. And I got a nice swing of 5 life here. Yeah, okay, malfunction is bad for me. Not a ton I can do about that, though. Still have an artifact on the battlefield, which is good. Uh, well, I guess we'll go Peafowl, as it's the best option. Next turn, if we draw an island, we can Snake. Otherwise, we can implement Sack to try drawing lands. Uh, if we draw black, we can go as a Swooper plus Cruel Finality. They draw a lot of cards of Reverse Engineer. But, eh, given my hand, I don't feel like I will be car out card advantage that badly this game. Winking Raiders. Um, so I could pass, try to block and use uh, Cruel Finality. It's pretty risky though. I feel like the best move I can go for is just as a born swooper, and if they want to attack, sure, I, I'll take 4 in the air and then I swing back for 4. They are at 13, so I'm not even sure they can afford to play extremely offensively w with their Winking Raiders. So I'm not even sure they would attack, so I don't really see the Curl Finality play being great. And if I attack first this turn... Well, I guess, pff, maybe... The thing is, if I attack, I really tell them I have a trick, which I'm not super happy about. Tempering on the Peafowl. I don't really mind if they attack me, like, they, they, they get 4 damage, but I'm at 23, they are at 13, and if I can swing back with the Swooper, I get a Servo out of the deal, which is good for me. Yeah, I'm happy enough with this trade. Of course, if they play a 2-3 Drake, then... It's not the same story. And it looks like it might be what they have. No, just a ground creature. I think I don't mind trading my Ezerboard for Ezerborn for the monitor if they want to. Hopefully I will draw land at some point though.
I could also cruel finality the monitor right now. And then they have no good block for the for the Ezerborn. Because if they double block double block it's really bad for them. Do I really wanna trade? Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that. Because scrying makes it more likely that I draw the land I want and need. And I'm not thrilled about that trade. Yeah, I think it's fine actually. That doesn't really help me. Everything I want to cast costs double blue, so I don't think this is what I what I want, even though it's land. A black land doesn't help me a ton at casting what I want to be casting. And if they want to try racing my Ezeborn when they are at 9 and I'm at 21, you know, sure. Feel free to do so. I don't think it's going to be great for you. Revolution tapping my blue, that's extremely annoying. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna double block. This is not a game where I'll have time to use the dock hand. And I don't really want to take unnecessary damage. And I don't really need more artifact onto the battlefield, it doesn't change match at this point. And if they have... okay, sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> now my weapon is out of gas, though, which is pretty cool. I just, yeah, I just need to draw a blue mana and we should be in very decent shape. So I guess the super can attack and then Crane is going to block one of the two power creature. Shandra's revolution was pretty rough here. <laughs> yep, sure. Especially since we drew Barrel's expertise, and another blue would would really make things better. Yep. Oh lord, they just top deck Maverist. Um, I got my blue though. Well. Expertise is not looking amazing since I don't have to c anything to cast with it. I could just play the experimental aviator. Yeah. Even if I have artifact, the converted mana cost is still 7. So it doesn't really do anything. Um, if I borrow expertise, I bounce the raiders. And to Thopter, they sack 1, I go down to 7. And then, I don't even have great blocks. I think I have to play the Aviator and pass. I'm worried about them killing me with the Gear Smasher. Don't tell me they have the... the Rebuke, otherwise I'm gonna puke. <laughs> them top decking the Mavericks is gonna make that game much harder than it should have been, could have been, might have been. They don't have any good attack here. Hmm, interesting. Alright. <clears throat> so let's imagine... I could also Barrel's Expertise my own Pilar bug, which is pretty good. Or, no, I cannot Barrel's Expertise my touch. You cannot, you can only target artifacts and creature. So yeah, I can get back my buck in hand and recast it, which is kind of nice, and I have one black mana to use it. So let's imagine I bounce Raiders, one Thopter, 
and my own bug and recast it. I attack for four in the air. They probably trade one of the th their Thopter, otherwise it's a two turn clock. They go down to five, which means the Serpent is lethal. I go down to seven because they sack a Thopter. And then I have two blockers available. One of them has Death Touch against their board. That doesn't sound too bad. Kind of like that move actually. Is there anything better to do? I don't really think so. I think it's better than catching the snake. <coughs> oh, come on, man. Yeah. Them top decking makes things really hard. Because without the Thopters and the Rebuke I would be in great shape, but they looks like they just got the two cards they needed and wanted right here. And a serpent now, yeah. Not a ton I can do, this just looks like... And I'm dead next turn. Yeah. Yup, I am dead. Uh... Any point in seeing what they do? I mean, the kill is so obvious that I don't really think they will not go for it. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, I think I put myself in a decent position despite missing my blue for a while. And the opponent just went top deck into top deck into top deck. D the perfect answers and the perfect cards I needed, so... Tough. Um... Alright. Uh, I don't think I have anything great in the side for this matchup. I don't think I should be in a bad situation though. Well, if I had eat my blue earlier I would have won easily. And without all the top decks I would have won easily too, so... And I don't see anything being particularly good from the side. I guess Tetheret's touch is a liability against um, Malfunction. I'm gonna play Bastion Inventor over the touch. I don't really wanna get two for one like last time. Select for inspection is pretty good against... Uh, actually I'm gonna pick Select. I don't wanna make my curve too high and Select is a good answer to the... Um, to the malfunction and actually yeah no I like that well blue red have, has a hard time dealing with a Bastion Inventor yeah I'm, I'm gonna cut leave in the dust alright <coughs> sorry about that um yeah I don't think this is a particularly bad matchup I think we needed to draw the blue a bit earlier on and we didn't need them to draw a couple lands but Yeah, I think if they could have stacked their deck to have the better card in this situation, they would have done exactly uh, that. Unless they have some even more powerful card. And it's great. like it. Uh, Inventor not looking super castable, but <laughs> at some point I will eventually cast it and it should be good. Alright, well, Cogwork Assembler was a good top deck for sure, as it makes my Assembler come earlier, I mean my inventor, it's also a good card in general. So that's nice. The bug now. Alright, alright. And my one has a super slow start. I don't see any reason to play around the Wrath of God effect against uh, Blue Red. In theory they could have 3 damage to each creature, but to do that they would need to um, 
you have an artifact to sack. I don't really s mind this thing being rebuked. Yeah, that's annoying, but nothing I can do. So hopefully they don't have the Maverick Thopterist here, it's pretty much the worst case scenario. Most other creatures I don't really care about because of Daring Demolition and Dai Young and Ice Over. Another Reinvolt, Jesus Christ. Well, despite not having an artifact on the battlefield, I'm pretty happy to have this Inventor because I'm gonna be able to clean the board with my Reinvolts. And then this should eventually win the game because, yeah, they have a lot of answers, but you don't really answer uh, an, a Bastion Inventor that easily. Alright, and now we are sure it's going to resolve, and yeah, I think the sideboard card should come through. And it's a 3 turn clock, so they cannot just take it and try to race me that, that easy. Also, I'm at 24. If they go Maverick Thopterist, it's slightly annoying, but I, could, I, I can die on the Thopterist itself, and then the, the Thopter are not going to block my inventor very well. Ezersphere Harvester. <sighs> okay. And I guess I could have another rebuke. Looks like they just F6 though. Definitely killing that if I can. And there's a pretty high chance I want to scry upkeep to make sure I don't draw land. Giant. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, I guess... Nah, actually no. Actually no. I'd rather get one more damage in here because I can attack for 5. Alright, we missed, but not the worst. And getting one damage with the Theorist right there is quite meaningful because since I drew the crane, I n putting them down to three instead of four could change the you know the clock for one turn and they just conceded. All right, we got there, sweet. Harvester, Jesus Christ, that's gonna be tough to beat. Their deck seems very good, but I think I have a shot. My deck is also pretty good. Um, I think I like Negate in this matchup, actually. It's good against Harvester, they have a bunch of Rimvol. Kinda like that. Ice Over, not sure how good it uh, how good it is. Maybe I just got a Snake on the draw, as it is a little bit slow and potentially clunky. Yes, especially if they remove all my artifacts like they did this game, with Rimvols. Uh... And I think in this matchup I like Bastion Inventor more than Serpent, because it's really tough to deal with. Could use a Rebuke, but I'm not sure what I would cut for it. Ice Over seems kinda meh. I think I'm gonna play Rebuke over Ice Over. Alright, good. <coughs> Hand is amazing. It is a freaking amazing. Definitely a keeper. You open mult to six and put a card on. What do you do? Bad beat. Bad beat Brett. Bad beat Brett. What's the plan? Kind of weird that it's written choosing decide deciding whether to mulligan here and here it was already written. Keep their hand. Okay, they put a card on bottom. Um, okay. Gonna lead with Swamp no matter what, because it lets me do either the Super or the Azerborn next turn. I think I'm more inclined to play the Azerborn, but it, it depends. Let's beat down. Second blue is nice. Now I just have the mana, the draw, everything is just perfect. I guess having an artifact next turn doesn't change anything because I, I still cannot cast Bastion Inventor, I would be missing one mana. Same with the... I would be missing two mana for the snake, so... 
I actually would rather play the, the ambitious as a born and try to get some draining before they found a blocker. They did found a blocker. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna as a super pass the turn. What I want to be doing is actually to attack with as a born, which they will want to trade with because it's an a nine card, and then rebel. But here, if I do that, obviously they, there's nothing to to rebel. Uh, and here, if they go Chandra's Revolution, you're as a born, tap your island. It's I mean it's fine. If they have it, they have it. Um, that was decent. Uh, do I just want to get rid of that and attack for a bunch? Feel like a waste a little bit, but yeah, sure. And if they do have the um, the count spell, they still have to tap the monitor. So I get in for okay. I guess they don't have it. Otherwise, they would not have f6. That's good to know. The weird that they f. I guess they want to use that with uh, maybe Maverick Subterist or some type of um, Winking Raiders. Maybe. Yes, we shall see. You you want to sack that unless you have improvised reverse engineer. I'm not sure this is what you want to be doing when you are when you are getting tempoed out. And if I don't draw the next turn, I can start drawing cards with the dark end, which is not crazy, but fine. I'd rather play aviator if I can, but otherwise, you know, it's it would have been fine to just attack for two less damage and and draw. All right. Well, that's quite a lot of pressure. Now they have a lot of cards in hand. Thopterist it looks like. No. A giant. Well, no problem. Giant is not exactly doing well on this board. Ooh, Rebuke is amazing. Uh, so I'm probably attacking with everything but the Duck Hand and the Aviator. And now what happens, if they eat my servo, I can rebel the giant. If they just trade with Ezzelborn, fine. And... Well, I guess I should attack with that too, because I might want to select for inspection my aviator on the turn to use it again. Yeah. And... Yeah, that sounds fine. Perfect. And now, given that we are going to kill the giant and that we'll have a uh, rebuke backup, I think it's pretty much game over for the opponent. Don't really see a scenario why, where they, you know, they get out of the, this mess. I guess incendiary sabotage plus three mana, which they do have with the map, would do the trick. It would sweep my board and probably make them win the game. But it's not a very common card. I don't think you really want it on the play against a deck that's more controlly than you are. And it kills a lot of your own creatures. I, I don't really think they would have that. Also, it's an uncommon from Kaladesh, and we haven't seen it yet, so... I don't really expect that card, but... in theory, they could have it, yeah. Harvester, yeah, no problem. You have nothing to crew it, and you will, you will not have anything to crew it. Yo, I think if I can counter that, they just lose, so seems worth it. And that should do the trick. The rebuke coming through from the side. Alright, sweet, we got there. My own deck was good. I think my, my deck is also good, but uh, my draw was insane here, which definitely helped. Um, interesting match, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy, and i see you for the second round.